Not so fast, Roach. I remember that mill. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. to wait. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, Raids have been undertaken, at least. True. She looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold! Mean to go in, wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel's side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit! Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Hmm. And we must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. Be assured, you'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. <laughs> How intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <laughs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. Luckily, you've got me. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight, that's our deal. Then there's the capping, then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, 
Hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. Oh, what a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. Let's go kill some monsters! Come. Time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. Be nice now. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo. Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a-wasting. Are you, uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. What a wonderful wedding. It's clear the newlywed's parents spared no expense. Look at how fools they split off themselves to catch a painty pig. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned King of the Swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady. The rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pig. King of the swineherds, eh? What's this king get exactly? The king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself! Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored! Get that cripple out of there! Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing.
realize it's just austerity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, Piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. You see that, Shani? Big pen. Peasants learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed, they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. <laughs> However, it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through mud. You were a joy to watch. Does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag-stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Mm, tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. I woo and woo. Yet you do not succumb, so I can't help but wonder, what am I doing wrong? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. <laughs> My sweet, you are no mere maid, but a marvel of nature. And now, at last, fate knocks at your door. But I, well, don't know rightly. You needn't know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Lesky, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Easy, lads. No harm done. 
An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you gonna do there? Talk some more? Naturally, we would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab me a fence post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Fairy is stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Fence balls. The perfect weapon for sweaty assed swineherds. Perfect fit for your job, you plowing gentle fuck. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shave? Damned cretin creamed me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. It would have made him watching. I had enough peasant spawn. Got yourself a match for a Von Everett. A witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jawed yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Get. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh, all right. <laughs> Your methods... quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. Eliminating potential obstacles, see? All part of my plan. Usually I take a few passing blows in the doing, and the young miss in question then swoons with pity, tends to my wounds. So what went wrong? It's this damned malformed body. All sinews. And this mug? Were I to wear my own, oh, it would be another story altogether. The maidens always fell from my melancholy eyes and the swagger in my scars. But I'll gladly try again. Just indicate a lass and... You've proven everything amply. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. so good to shake the kinks from one's bones. We must find more, more fun. What's taking you so long? Bring me the shoe. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? So I know you from somewhere. No chance he lives down the hill. Perhaps you'd care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. 
I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. Your tits up, mate. Slap those asses ears on your asses noggin. Oh, such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <laughs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! We are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed! Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. Faster, faster <laughs> till we expire. <laughs> for our special guests, the Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Shan. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani, it's time you discovered my romantic side. They say dance is a mere foretaste of more intimate interaction. Who says this? I do, for one. I do wonder what you mean by intimate interaction. Oh, it's a fascinating process. One you as a scholar and medic might find especially interesting. I gladly explain it in detail, but it's horribly loud in here. See the ladder? Leads to a loft. Surely there we'd not be disturbed while investigating the nature of intimate interaction. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. I'm um, not sure I do. Have you lost your mind? I have. 
my mind, my heart, for you. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just... Next time, don't lunge at me like that. I've had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, the next time, I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> you are incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a dream. Please. I've reeled her in. Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Myself, it was an innocent kiss, not more. I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me angry. But don't get me wrong, I've thought about doing just that a few times, but but what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Whoa, hold there, mate. You said. You weren't interested back in the crypt. Now suddenly, after I've beat the cream all night, you swoop in to dip your berry! And aim to delight in it without me present! Shut up. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontaro Din, Master Mirror. What are he's doing here? Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah! <sighs> I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. <laughs> the night is young. Come, let's do something wild. I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shami, naturally. Your elfin happiness! Fortune smile upon you, white wolf! <laughs> of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistaken for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough. Get going. Drunken Randy. Nothing good's ever come of that, Briggs. <laughs> Let's go kill some monsters. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a, a true fire eater. You know, woo scoop, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. But we'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Broomzown chased him off. 
That blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of hidden things. Mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The flame gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you, and hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vladimir. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. The hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed, it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. A bone nod so clean I've only ever seen two like this. One in an antel, the other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. And its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. Yet judging by its house, demon is a hulk. But beggars can't choose their tracks. So Following I shall some follow dog's these. trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. How goes the search? No discoveries of note as yet, but I shan't give up. This witcher work suits me swimmingly. A broken branch. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Or perhaps someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, there is joy in this ferreting. A spark spitter's cap, if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come. Chap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions, then. Our magician is fat, and a coward. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? 
demon. Doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun. Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead? True. But I was fleeing a noun. And? But it was a monster! A, a furry, faggy devil! They chose a fitting name for it. Your cap, sir. Lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Ah, oh, my dearest cap. Always brought me good luck it has. I'll wear it for every performance. You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Know what become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire-guzzling trickery, how does it work? Oh, they tossed me out of the guild if I told. Except if I took you on as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drank it all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me, and I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. Out with it. I got, I got a special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. Oh, but just about enough of this. First they release the hounds, then come and steal my meat, and now insults! I'm done here. Goodbye! Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Now, you're gonna forget everything you've seen, said, and heard in the woods. Wouldn't a smack upside the head help the matter? Put the cheating coward back in his place! No need. You'll go back to the wedding and show everybody your tricks. Oh, your charlatan's tricks. Yes, sir. I'll do as you say. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't stray a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Bear! Bear? That? As much as your cock's a tent pole. I lose. Save me! Tell me, are bears often boar shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed, you are not, Master. Uh, 
believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altersborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsboro. Stay close, and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. from the water? An old pot? Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? They're playing slip-in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. The man's got to dive in and fish it out. There's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. My eyes are glued. Damn mucky that pond. Sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the leg. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers, and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out. Mm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. 
Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm -hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. Now, but flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. For how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like you. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Eberich? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you may do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Charlie isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Oh, by the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgier visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. 
What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it go. Ongird was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe it. And now revel on. Time won't wait. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the capital. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. No need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. For tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you, and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. Midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance, what dreams make young blood run. Be they nice, be they vice, of jestily or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely corporal, then give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely bear with its pale and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind our song, we all sing to be your kind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Christ will hold eternal, pride will best be rare, for she'll make you a purple in the coming year. What's the groom of King Hacking? Just a polish brow. Must be said, Gallant, Gallant, Gallant Cow. That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Ongir's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. Please. You're a good chap, Witcher. That was dirt, but good.
A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise and the choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. <laughs> Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Shall I mention she used to weave the berries into necklaces? 
pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? Fine, I'll pick some. Becoming quite the romantic. I see each other so rarely. Figured Old Gear could wait till morning. Smile, Shani. You remembered I liked the Rowan. Remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just. After I caught the garland, I realized something. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. You've got friends. Me, for one. Well, in that case, let's drink to our friendship. To friendship. I'm afraid the drink's gotten to our minstrels. Horribly off-key. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. That was background. What I remember most, the mood, the feelings, the people I met. And those I met for the second time in my life. You're right. I was up to my elbows in work, but those were good times. They're nice memories. For me too. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop, his business is booming. Good. I'm relieved to hear it. See, coins tied to torrent. But don't tell the old Battlex. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us men folk need to stick together. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that! I'm Vassy! But you can call me Dar. Oh, thank you, Dar. I feel honoured. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. Mean the differences in wealth? Mm hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. What kind of beau's unfit? <sighs> so far, every kind. <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. 
That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the Academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the Academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in their condition. If they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. That was Vladimir, not me, remember? But pretend for a moment it had been you, and the situation had been different. Say you're at the wedding, and that very girl keeps glancing, smiling at you. Then she finally walks up, and you know exactly what she wants. What do you do? Huh. If Dandelion was around, and he usually is, I'd introduce her to him and walk off. I don't believe that. You'd let the opportunity pass? I don't need opportunities like that. Hmm, change to style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. How'd it compare? Honestly, completely different. Better or worse? Just impossible to compare. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. <laughs> All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Love to stay, I would. But we ought to get back to the wedding. Oh, yes. Yes. That's best. Penny for your thoughts? Just thinking that friends should stay friends. Mm -hmm. My feeling, too. I have a lot to think about. Alone. So I'm not going back to the wedding. Not really fond of watching drunks stagger around, anyway. Shani, wait. Before you go, need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt.